There you go. You did me, boy. He has the exuberance of any five-year-old, enjoying life as it unfolds within a loving and caring home. But that unfolding life carries with it a grim and deadly caveat. For unknown to Josh, he has a genetic aberration that will lead to a certain and painful death. I mean, we found out in December that he was diagnosed. And he, at the beginning, just described the pain as tingling or... You know, they were asleep or they hurt, mm -hmm. but he's actually described it last week as it felt as though his hands were on fire. It's called Fabry's disease. It prevents the body from breaking down fats that accumulate in the heart, brain, and kidneys. You could be lying in bed reading a book to him where he said, uh, Daddy, my foot hurts. And he turned over and basically whimpered, cried himself to sleep basically for 15 minutes. There is a drug treatment to contain the disease. It's called enzyme replacement therapy, ERT. But it is costly, $250,000 a year. And right now, it's not funded by the government. I mean, people are very ill, and if he were to have a different diagnosis, he'd have treatment. He, he, these people are being discriminated against. You know the expense of the drug, that you could lose your house, you could lose everything trying to alleviate your son's duress. This is when the government has to do something right away. There are people like that, I'm sure, in our similar situation, income-wise. You know, a house that's worth, you know, 350000 is nothing, really, when it comes to this drug. There is a small ray of hope. Last October, the provinces in Ottawa announced that they were going to launch a new clinical trial of ERT, which could provide many of Ontario's Fabre victims with the therapy they need to survive. We're moving forward with it expeditiously and everyone is very, very sensitive to the necessity of quick movement. Weeks or months? I think it's measured in, uh, in a number of uh, weeks or short months. That was three months ago. Today we spoke with staff of the health minister. They intimated the clinical trial may begin in 30 days but also caution further delays could be caused by the election of a new federal government. The question is, will Josh be part of the clinical trial if and when it begins? If you were face to face with Mr. Smitherman, our Minister of Health, what would you tell him? I would tell him to look at my children in their face and ask how he could deny a treatment that's going to save their lives.